Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are out here with the uh, Goer 3 again, as it is about to make its a pr very close approach to the Jupiter's moon of Io. Uh, I have already spared you the uh, tedium of watching me set up flight computer for all of our radio in commands. Uh, our course is pretty locked in. Um, we can make adjustments. Uh, this node is just really for in case I felt like being daring and wanted to get a uh, even closer to the uh, surface of Io, which I, I don't think I want to do. Um, I think we've got it tagged in right now. Let me check. It's about 30 kilometers. Yeah, 30 kilometers and uh, 428 meters. Uh, we could spend another 33 meters per second to get it down to 23 kilometers, but I, um, I don't know if I really want to do that. That... Yeah. <laughs> It's looking not so great, really. I think this is going to be close enough. Um, we're not going to be spending that much time in Io's sphere of influence. Uh, he is a tiny little bugger, but uh, also like the densest thing in the solar system, it turns out. Uh, well, the densest planetoid or moon thing. Some metallic asteroids or something like that pro uh, have a higher density, but uh, I don't know. Io might be uh, king of that hill. As far as, uh, I don't know, moons or planets are concerned. Judge me if you want. Anyway, so we're just going to speed up time a little bit. We've got a couple of hours until we reach our flyby. You can see our impending doom here uh, approaching us. It's basically like the uh, orbital version of a head-on collision. We are orbiting opposite each other. So it does, uh, it gets intimidating pretty quick. Wow. Yeah, and now Jupiter's back to normal, so if I could still do this, that would probably be our screenshot today. All right, let's, uh, well, I guess we're going to change SOI. It seems like it's, I didn't slow down that time warp. It did that all on its own. So I guess, yep, this, there's our SOI change in one minute. And in one minute and ten seconds, we will uh, radio in our first, oh, okay, let's say, oh, God, where did everything go? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tuck flight computer away. Right, and we can just wait for our very first radio ins to come back. It should be literally any second now. Yep, here we go. Oh, awesome! Thirty-six science, uh, seventy-two science from the radio plasma wave added. Orbital telescope nets us another forty-eight. Uh, magnetometer gets us another forty. I guess maybe we missed all the high science on our uh, uh, Jossum B one flyby. Atmospheric. Gravity scan will notice another 40. Uh, temp scan gets us another 48. All right. And Geiger counter gets us another 48. I added. Micrometeorite nets us another 48. Perfect. That worked out pretty well. I'm glad I scheduled that one in. All right. Uh, our time to periapsis is two minutes and some coin. Let's see what we've got here on the counter. Two minutes 53. Hmm. We're going to be like 20 some odd seconds short of our actual periapsis. That's a kind of a bummer. I was hoping we, I mean, I don't know. I never get these things exactly right. It's kind of irritating, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I try sometimes. All right. Well, uh, to tell you, yeah, we got two minutes. I guess we can just speed this up a little bit. Man, that does look really nice, doesn't it? Very volcanically act, uh, active, sulfurous little guy. You are pretty cute. There's our impending camera change. Oh man, it really just it feels like we're falling straight on to the surface. Our periapsis height is uh, 30.181, so uh, apparently there are actually uh, peaks here on Io that uh, I did not know about when I initially programmed this maneuver. Our actual altitude is about 40 kilometers, so we're about 5 kilometers off. Oh man, this is real speed. This felt like time warp. 
Wow. Yeah. And we're climbing. All right, we cleared it. We cleared it by a lot. That was not nearly as nerve-inducing as our last uh, flyby. What was that, Callisto? All right, and just above, we got it. Another 90 science. All right, 90 science there. Yep, there's one we've already got. We can reset that and the micrometeorite. All right, well, that worked out pretty well. Just above Io's Highlands, we got that one. And the magnetometer scan, 135 science for radio plasma wave in space near Io. That's awesome. Please don't let me lose out on that one. It says 117 added. Why? What? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I took a contract or a uh, strategy, sorry, to help build some reputation. I took a strategy that siphons off a bit of science and gives me uh, reputation points instead because, man, we still suck at everything. Reputations in like the low 300, low negative 300s, basically. So, uh, in I need to get that up so we can get some more interesting contracts so I can stop doing these three person crewed orbital flights every four episodes because I need money. <laughs> that bankruptcy thing still really, really sucks. All right, well, uh, we're about clear of IO. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, hit our time warping a little bit. So we're also about to make a pretty close flyby of Jupiter here, and I just like the eye candy. I don't think I should have to apologize to, for that. Well, and that also completes uh, Goer 3's complete run. Uh, our previous flyby of IO was the Jossen B-1 spacecraft. That was just kind of uh, on luck. This one was designed specifically for this purpose of flying by the Galilean moons. And it has now achieved all of its goals. It hit all four that uh, exist here in KSP Realism Overhaul. And so we can actually call this mission complete. Um, of course, I might try to get some dark side flybys of all the uh, moons that we flew by on the daylit, daylit side. And a uh, daylight side of the one moon we flew by during at night. Just because uh, they might be different biomes. There might be some more science we can scavenge there. But uh, really, as far as what this spacecraft was intended to do, it fulfilled uh, all four of its goals. So I'm very happy in calling this one uh, mission success and mission complete. But, uh, of course, we will be keeping it here in orbit. That's just wonderful. <laughs> and uh, continuing to use it to uh, explore the reaches of our solar system here. Uh, and it's a nice orbit of Jupiter. But uh, I know this was kind of a short episode. I'm real sorry about that. But um, <clears throat> there will be more shortly, I promise you. But uh, thank you so much for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And I'll see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.